SkyTrack version 1.7.0 was released today, and in this video I'll quickly review some of the new features. The most significant new feature, of course, is the new legacy interface for SkyWatcher mounts. Previously, SkyWatcher mounts weren't able to change um, the faster slew rates in a smooth manner, and this has changed now with uh, some new firmware that they've come out with. So the connection is done through the SynScan Pro app, and if you don't have that uh, download and install, you will need to do that. And the latest version is um, 2.0.12. You'll need that version or higher. I believe 0.13 is going to be released very shortly. Uh, so with the uh, with the app, you you connect to your mount, and then in SkyTrack, you have a choice of uh, two different interfaces depending on your mount configuration. So either Alt-As or EQ, you don't need to select the COM port. You just click connect and away you go. So it, it communicates with the app through TCP. There's also now a help button on the interfaces and it takes you to this screen. And um, this is not a complete uh, list of mounts that Sky or that um, SkyTrack works with, but rather ones that I've personally tested or have worked very closely with the manufacturer. So you can see under Skywatcher here, it talks. we talked about the, uh, the application that's needed and also the firmware. So you need firmware 3.39 or higher. That's the motor controller firmware from Skywatcher. And as well, your board has to be a generation three board. Uh, some older mounts may have a Generation 2 board, but you can get controller board upgrades through Skywatcher. So you can see the new um, firmware was just uploaded yesterday. And um, so you select the, the correct one for your particular mount. Uh, so the version is 3.39 for most of the mounts. Some of the other um, mounts are actually on um, 3.40. So for instance, the AC GTI that I've been testing on <coughs> uses 3.40. So you will need to upgrade that firmware before using this interface. And um, it, it works quite nicely. The mounts uh, will slew uh, quite smoothly now. And I just want to say a special thanks to Skywatcher. Um, they were great to work with. And when we found little bugs, they were very quick on, on turning that around and fixing those issues. Um, so great, great support through Skywatcher. Uh, the other major change is um, under astronomical objects, the tracking of custom tracking for JPL major bodies. So this is the second version of SkyTrack that has that, but the, the big change is the ability to do open loop tracking. So previously you could just do closed loop tracking, and now um, you have the option to switch to open loop tracking once you've um, hit a certain tolerance of separation between the mount and the object. This will provide uh, smoother tracking for some mounts, and that's explained uh, in more detail in another uh, video, so I'll leave the, uh, the link to that. Uh, another more minor change under setup <coughs> with the uh, gamepad or joystick, we now can configure the, the buttons to have certain functions. So again, under satellite tracking, <coughs> if you enable the gamepad or joystick, uh, the, the joystick takes on the function of these arrows in uh, centering the uh, satellite in your field of view. So for the the four major buttons on game pads, you have uh, one of five options not to use it, to make it a start button to start satellite tracking, to stop satellite tracking, and that that means it, that button will only work to start, it won't work to stop, or will only work to start, not work to stop. And then the, the next option is to do both. So it's sort of a toggle on and off. So you press it, the same button to start, and press the same button to stop. And the last option is to make it uh, zero the tracking offsets. So back here, if we have some offsets here. Zeroing them has the same function as this zero button here that'll zero those parameters. So those are the, the, 
the major differences, uh, one other smaller thing is the velocity of, um, of the satellite now is expressed in kilometers per second instead of kilometers per hour. And that's because kilometers per second is a more common unit, unit for orbital velocity. Uh, so that's it. Those are the major changes in 1.70. Uh, again, uh, the biggest one being uh, the new interface for Skywatcher. So I hope Skywatcher users um, enjoy this new feature and uh, I look forward to hearing back how that's working for you. Thanks for now.